Yo folks and welcome to the channel, my name is Bork, in today's video we're covering some JP content with Halloween Kauri arriving and not to mention the Halloween event, so you've been warned, I've been trying to say it during the intro of this video, let's go ahead and jump right into this and here we are in JP, this version of Yui, I forget which version, you guys can let me know down in the comments, but let's go ahead and look at this version of Kauri, she looks absolutely amazing, if you guys didn't know, she is my favorite waifu in Princess Connect, but at the end of the day, all waifus are S tier in my opinion, but let's go ahead and look at some information regarding Halloween Kyrie. In case you guys were curious, she is not going to be a prolific meta character. Now, there are other versions of her where it's her six star and not to mention summer version, but honestly, her Halloween version, it looks pretty stylish. I love it. I'm gonna pull for it because she's my waifu. I don't care what this rank says because waifu over meta. And honestly, why isn't she that great? It's mostly because her attack scale based off of the enemy's HP. The lower the enemy's HP is, essentially the more damage she will deal. And that's essentially not ideal. Outside of that, that she's you know okay like she will like deal some damage but it's all based off of like the remaining hp on the target so maybe if it was during clan battle and the boss was like you know maybe 10 percent 20 percent left health i'm sure like jp people will like run the numbers and stuff then yeah i guess she'll be good in that situation but honestly if you want to pull for a character or just raise a character just go for like six star kauri six star kauri is an absolute unit she's going to be ss rank insane damage potential but that's going to be in a future timeline and i'm going to be trying to get six star carry in the future but let's go ahead and jump into some polls all right this is going to be our first poll right here what are we going to be getting and just note the pity is a little bit lower so hopefully i don't have to go too deep into the banners i just want to get one copy of this halloween carry because that would be absolutely amazing we get it rather quickly no okay just note that my luck in jp it is not like there like at least compared to something like an en and i wonder if they're doing the thing no before like they had like this extra portion anniversary times where you would get like extra divine amulets but i guess it's not happening here and just note this is like normal three percent rates the only reason why i'm pulling is because technically speaking i won't be able to get kauri outside of this event i think but i'm pretty sure you guys will let me know in the comments if she's like exclusive to halloween but it feels like she should be exclusive to halloween it doesn't really make sense that she would appear on the normal banners but if she does appear on the normal banners that'd be huge regrets we got a three star right here hopefully that's going to be halloween kauri if it is i will raise her and that's not halloween kauri i knew it. it was like way too fast and everything but you know that's super awesome we got a copy of akino i think i already have my current akino at six stars so not really the greatest for me but let's go ahead and see can we get another fake out right here because we got a fake out last time that would be super amazing yes yes we do oh my gosh princess connect thank you so much please let this be halloween kauri i love you please come on no okay all right that's back to back three stars we take those all day it was just kind of surprising we got one so more fake outs like please please just keep faking me out i love this whether it's halloween kauri or not like i love you know just getting <laughs> three stars <laughs> but let's go ahead and see what happens right here so oh no way that's three dude oh my god goodness this jp luck is absolute insanity honestly like if i pull for other gacha games like it's nowhere near like this only for princess connect it gets like this crazy like holy i'm losing my mind guys i am no way all right that's another one not halloween kauri she is like doing a great job at dodging me i'm willing to take another three star like four back to back that'd be super cool all right no rainbow papers right here that's absolutely fine but let's go ahead and see what actually drops right here here and no it's just gonna be a normal one honestly three back to back was absolute insanity i feel like i am going to pity for this character like it doesn't seem like a road where it's just like oh she's just gonna magically appear because if there's three like rainbow papers and she doesn't appear once i don't know like any other sign where it's just like hey borg you're just not gonna get her from this banner because if you were to get a rainbow three times and a character is like on rate up i feel like it would have been dropping by now you know what i mean it is what it is we are probably going to hit it and it's fine at the end of the day i just want to see like halloween kauri's like ubs and stuff like i know i could watch a video on it i want to see it like on my screen on my jp account and if you're wondering which account have i spent more money on is it my en or is it my jp account and my jp account has actually had like more whaling done to it than my actual en account if you're wondering i've spent like at least 200 oh nice we got a rainbow is that what we need to do we need to be like we spent like a ridiculous 
this amount of money on Princess Connect. And that's how you're going to get rewarded with like a three star. Please be Halloween Kari. I've shown dedication to Princess Connect, right? We've shown dedication to Princess Connect. I think this is the next one. Almighty, be a three star. Oh, is this it? Is this see, like we wouldn't play this if it wasn't for her, right? Oh, no. All right. It's Io. Like I like the animations and stuff. That was pretty clean. All right. That was a good fake out. Not going to lie. But this is kind of crazy because we're getting so many like rainbows. Absolute insanity right now. Like we've gotten four within 10 pulls. And I think on the 20th hole, like we'll check our pity counter after this. Can we get anything cool? We got a bunch of golds. That's absolutely fine. We could use the divine amulets. Maybe we could six star something afterwards. And I think like the next summoning session I'm going to have in like JP probably going to be like New Year's Carol. Like honestly, she's like the best character in the game. And that's who I should actually aim for. But all right. So we only have to do 10 more pulls if we want to hit pity. So let's go ahead and jump back in here. See if we get anything cool. We have 41,000 gems left, I think. If I can like, you know, read properly with numbers and whatnot. Okay. Can we get anything cool right here? And it's golds and silvers. Absolutely fine. I will take these all day. It's okay. I understand. We have already gotten ridiculously lucky. Like considering all the pulls that we have done, it is like preposterous to say that four rainbows and call that like bad rate. I mean, rate up is obviously a lie because there's like a million characters in Princess Connect, at least at this point in JP, because like the game's been out for like three years. But I'm at least hoping for, you know, maybe at 150, we could actually hit, you know, Halloween Kauri. I mean, like we're gonna like hit pity, like might as well just, you know, do it in the middle, like sort of middle, like 75% of the way. That'd be really awesome. I'm trying to negotiate with the game. All right. Maybe if we like do this thing, like if I get Halloween Kauri, I will play JP Princess Connect a little bit more. All right. That didn't work. You don't want me to play like, you know, Princess Connect JP a little bit more. All I want to do is like, see if my waifus grow up to be like nice, happy and you know, all that stuff. Like, so they can be big, bad and strong, essentially beat the event bosses. That'd be really cool. And I think Halloween Kauri might actually be pretty a niche or interesting unit to sort of see in arena. But then again, like she might not work because everyone always starts out with full health and everything. Yeah, she just seems like so niche for like really interesting locations where the boss starts out with like low each. Honestly, the only place that I really see that is in CB when you're about to deal like the last blows against the enemy. Let's go ahead and see. We got a bunch of golds right here. That's four golds. How deep are we? I don't even know how many jewels we first started out with. We're 17 multis. Please, please, please. No, we are definitely going to that pity counter right here. Four rainbows isn't bad. I'm just going to call it right here. It doesn't matter if I get it on the 18th or 19th pull. By then, it's like soft pity and like I might as well like go all the way, but I don't think it really matters because we're definitely going all the way right here. All right, one gold. Dang, that is... I see the shaft that it's happening right now. Please, I just wanted to talk about the Halloween event too. Like, you don't have to shaft me this hard so we can just do a full video of just summons, right? I wanted to actually talk about the event, see what's going on and like talk about the units that were there. But I guess we're just gonna do pulls. All right, this is the 19th pull. It's the first one, the first rainbow. What is it gonna be? I think this is Luna, right? And Luna is a pretty amazing character. I do already have a copy of her. So that's nice just to see her again. She's gonna be a, an amazing unit whenever she releases. So this is the final pull. We have hit pity. If she drops right here. Cool. If she doesn't, cool. Honestly, we got five rainbows and 20 multis. I think that's absolutely insane rates. Like it really speaks to the fact that SSRs or three stars in this game are fairly abundant. But one thing is shown, don't pull during, you know, non prefest times or like it's essentially hard to pull an on rate character. So this is it. We're going to be, wait, what? Times 100? No, we're not going to. Yeah, we're going to get times 100 hundred plus like Halloween carry right here. So let's go ahead and get our copy. Thank you very much game. I was looking for like that background. I knew if I didn't see it, there was like no way I wouldn't get her. But there she is. She looks absolutely amazing. Halloween carry with her gorgeous smile and the fireworks during the Halloween time frame. This was worth it to me. Like this smile alone, we're going to go ahead and make that our home profile picture. There she is, the home screen queen, Halloween carry herself. Let's go ahead and look at this Halloween event really quick. Just so you guys can get an idea what's going on here. Yes, that's going to be a Halloween version of 
of Susana. I'm pretty sure she'll appear on the second half. And as you can see here, it's going to be a free copy of Halloween and Ninon. Absolutely amazing right here. I'm not sure if she's great or not. Honestly, I love Halloween or I like Ninon in general. And this is going to be the boss. Let's go ahead and run him. I think he's a pretty cute doggo. And I can't wait for to see this dude in the future. But we're going to have to essentially wait like two years before this drops, I think, because we're barely getting our current Halloween event. I love like the outfits that they have and it's like all like pumpkin-y themed. And Ninon having like a giant pumpkin as like sort of a weapon makes complete sense to me. And look at this dog. He has like this little bite animation and he looks like a giant puffball. But I also like how the boss looks like so immensely huge. It seems like a different sort of artistic aspect compared to Princess that we have right now. And the animations of course in JP are absolutely ridiculous. They went above and beyond and have definitely put the full budget in making sure our waifus look amazing. But yeah, this is going to be like the Halloween event right here. It's pretty normal like outside of the fact that there's going to be like the very hard like sort of extension of the stage. And there's going to be like the extreme section of the stage. Stream is like really difficult. I can usually never complete it, but it's like your tried and true, like normal, like gotcha events or normal events when it comes to like Princess Connect, you know, have like your standard things where you can do like a hundred pulls. We'll do like 85 right here. But yeah, usually what's really cool about like the later like Princess Connect events is they drop like this doodad. Oh, where is it? Yeah, this one. So this will actually make it so that Halloween Ninon, she can be like 100% leveled to some of like the highest ranks and I just really like that because it makes it so that whenever you get like these like sort of support units you can easily make them into like some of the strongest characters it's how for example I got some of my characters right now to their red ranks right so they were only able to achieve this section little like crystal balls that upgraded them to like this degree like for example this version of Carol right here refresh Carol that's how I was able to rank her up so high and that's why she has this little weird label around her name same thing with like um, this version of Yui I hope you guys enjoyed today's video like with the JP Halloween stuff. I really wanted to put out some Princess Connect content for y'all and like I miss Princess Connect. I play this game every single day. I want you guys to know like I'm 100% always here because whenever I jump into Princess Connect it's just a fun time. It's like easy to play this game and the community that we have like it's absolutely amazing. Thanks so much for watching today's video. If you made it this far consider subscribing, dropping a like, leaving a comment. Follow me on Twitch. Follow me on Twitter. If you guys want more JP content let me know down in the comments I'll start working on the video when it comes to like the latest gotcha games coming into our hemisphere for EN or hopefully global anyways have yourself a fantastic day and see you in the next one